course learning outcome from an institutional bank of outcomes. This is stored at the institutional level. They pull them into their course level outcomes, which you see here. I've pulled in 150.3. The other three are course level ones that I've added at the course level. Um, those are specific learning outcomes. 150.3 is the only course level outcome coming down from the institutional level in this particular outcome bank. I add that to a rubric, and you can see it here at the top, the course level. These are the specific. The top one is institutional. The bottom three are course level. Uh, the instructor would know this because they set things up. At one point, this is an assignment. It's got a rubric attached. There's a course level outcome. There's a specific learning outcome. So I'll be able to use all of them in one rubric to evaluate this assignment. And that's all the faculty has to do. They pull them down. I'm populating this. They mark their assignment. They're done. That's all they have to do. I can then, from the back end, pull data like this into a dashboard that can be shared back to faculty, back to curriculum, back to assessment team. This shows you, this slices and dices data, not real data, because I don't yet have real data to work with. I hope to have that in May for a presentation to curriculum and assessment team. Here you can see that I'm getting average by the learning outcome. Here I can see the general education performance. Here I can see institutional learning outcome 828488 and the performance there. I can have graphs. And I can have interactivity where people drill down to look at uh, things in more detail, as you see here. So you're drilling down f into the course level outcomes, program learning outcomes, and up into the institutional learning outcomes. Those are things we can actually do with track that if we could ever get track that configured right. But the whether or not we could produce a dashboard like this is is doubtful in my mind. There's some modules we'd have to pay significantly more money for. What you're looking at, we have right now, right here. The thing that Track Deck can't do is this, another dashboard. What you're looking at in the upper left are the course learning outcomes for my course there, uh, mapped against various majors. How different majors are performing against that course learning outcome. Over here, you can see state of origin, how the different students from the different campuses are performing. Again, I have drilled down capabilities if I want to look at other details. The dashboard can be set up in a number of different ways. I can look at gender. Remember, the faculty member has not entered any some number of females, some number of males. All they ever did was mark the rubric. All of this is done on the back side using our existing uh, data sets in the SAS and elsewhere. Here you can see a cross tab looking at whether there are gender differentials by major. Again, the data is not real data, but it's just to give you an example of what can be done with just Canvas and these, these uh, dashboards that I've built. No, you're busy, got too much to do. That's all I want to say, but I'm trying to give you a glimpse of this. And this particular screen is really important. You can't get to hear from from track that it's not possible this is pulling from the SAS using the canvas rubrics to get back from the students to their major to their gender to anything we have in SAS we can even look at how they perform uh, versus age potentially so all of this is available um, from the from uh, canvas uh, as it sits right now and my work currently is to populate this I think this has bearing on the work ICER is doing in 2A. I know this has bearing on the work in curriculum and in the assessment team and hope to have real data to present in May. Thank you.